Good afternoon everybody and welcome to Grey Form Primary School. Today we're going to be looking at some tennis skills. So what you'll need is you will need a tennis racket and you will need a ball. Okay, it doesn't matter what type of tennis racket you've got, okay, or what type of tennis ball you'll be able to take part regardless. So to start off with, all we're going to do is we're just going to start with a nice steady throw and catch game. For this you need to keep your racket in your strong hand, okay, throwing the ball up with your weak hand and catching the ball, okay, just to warm ourselves up. Keep it going, guys, well done. If you're feeling ambitious, change over. Keep it going, eye on the ball, see how many you can do. This is just as a warm up for everybody, okay, just getting used to watching the bounce. Eye on the ball, keep it going, using your racket as a big hand, using your hand, okay, to clap catch that ball. Well done guys, keep it going. Coming in for the last 10 seconds, lots and lots of racket skills on show today. Three, two, listen for the bounce and one stop there. Okay, just going to pop that down to the side. So for those of you that have been watching okay over the last week or so, Thank you very, very much. Really, really do appreciate it. Our videos have now reached over 1,400 people on YouTube. Okay, we've done two live streams. Yesterday, okay, we did the target throwing session live with the standing long jump. And today, we've obviously done our triple jump and our soft javelin paper airplane throw. Now, a lot of these sessions, we start off with the fundamentals and they are geared around, okay, the foundation key stage one children building up to a point where Key Stage 2 children can join in. We don't want to keep you guys waiting around, so what we're going to do today is we're going to start off with some Key Stage 2 skills, and I've got a really, really special guest, okay? I did say we're live at Grade Form, and we are working here, okay? Playing some tennis, and we've got Miss Hood, okay, to come and show you some of her skills. So I'm going to hand you over to Miss Hood. Thank you. A big hello to everyone from Grade Thorn, and especially Silver Birch class. So, I'm going to show you some racket skills. Stage one. Okay, so for stage one, all you need to do is keep the ball up without it bouncing. Keep it going, guys. Eyes on the ball. Everybody can partake in this. Join in with this. Keep it going. If you've not got a tennis ball, a rolled up pair of socks, okay, would work just as well. If you've not got a tennis racket, you can keep the ball up on your hand. Okay, there is something for everybody. Stage one, we're going to try and do stage one for a minute. Okay, we're going to spend a minute on each. They do get a lot more challenging. And stop there. Okay. If you needed to make stage one harder, okay, you can keep bouncing the ball up. Off you go, Miss Hood. But while you just go for a walk around the area. So just walking around. Not too far out of the camera. Well done. Keep it going, guys. So to make it harder, okay, just starting on the move. Okay, thank you very much, Miss Hood. Stage two, you're going to flip the racket over. So this time you are working on your backhand skills. So keeping the ball up without a bounce. But we're using the back of the racket, back of our hand, keeping that ball up. Have a go at it for a minute, guys. See how many you can do. And again, if you want to challenge yourself, go for a walk around. Imagine this one's a little bit more challenging on the move. Demonstrated fantastically by Miss Hood of Silver Birch from Greyform Primary School. Giving up her time to bring you some tennis skills today. And fantastic. Bring it in for the full minute. Stage three. Okay, this time stage three. You're going forehand, backhand, alternating it over each time. If the ball drops down, don't worry. Pick it up, start again. Again.
Again, fantastic demonstration from Miss Hood. Thank you. Forehand, backhand, keep it up for a minute. Your fives and sixes if you want to get somebody to count for you as well. Oh! oh. <laughs> and back into shots. Miss Hood's going to finish with another ten. Another rally of ten to keep it up. I think you went over the minute there anyway, Miss Hood. There we go. Fantastic. Okay. Stage three would be the same to make it a little bit more difficult, a little bit more challenging. Stage three, you could do on the move. And now stage four. This is the hard one. Okay, so this time we're going forehand, but after three or four bounces, you're changing hands. So we're swapping over, working on our non-dominant hand as well. Again, you get a little bit of natural movement in there anyway. Keeping your eye on the ball, fantastic hand-eye coordination skills. And you're trying to see if you can keep the ball up like Miss Hood, eye on the ball. Great hand-eye coordination. The switching of hands there as well. And if you want to have a go at any of these, you can rewind the video, pause it. If there's not enough space in your living room, go out into the back garden. As I say, we're very, very lucky to have Miss Hood from Grey Form Primary School here with us today, showing us these fantastic racket skills. So grab your tennis racket and join in. Bye, everyone. Thanks, Mr Bingley. Okay, special treat there for all the pupils of Grade 4 Primary School, especially Silver Birch. Okay, I know at the minute, obviously, a bit of a crazy time learning from home. Okay, Miss Hood is checking in on you, so make sure you are doing your work that she's set for you. Earn lots and lots of dojos. Um, to everybody else, guys, okay, this is no different from all the other teachers across the different partner schools that we work in. Um, the fact I'm at Grade 4 Primary School today, Miss Hood very kindly volunteered her time. What I'd like to do now, we're going to take it back, make the session slightly easier, throwing the ball up just to get ourselves sorted, catching the ball. Now this time, can you put in a bounce? Okay, can you put in a bounce? Keep the ball up. We're going to try and go for a minute, see how many we can do. And at the minute, we're going forehand skills. Keep it going, guys. Well done. Forehand skills. We're now putting in the bounce of tennis. Each time the challenge here is to keep the ball just up above Okay, your head as it bounces. Okay, so this is stage one with the bounce. Keep it going, guys. Bend those knees for good balance. Eye on the ball. Incredibly. We have not made a mistake yet. Try and talk and demo this. Keep it going, guys. Okay. And stop there. Right, so what we're going to do now... We're going to go on to stage two, and stage two is going to be, okay, the backhand. So we were forehand each time, okay, we were forehand, keeping it up. This time, it's going to be back of our hand all the time, sideways on, backhand, okay, keeping it up. Backhand, remember, we did say to make it more difficult, you could go on the move, so on the move around, keeping that ball up with the back of our hand. Keep it going, guys, well done. All you need for this is a tennis racket, tennis ball. If you've not got a racket, make your own racket. <laughs> Get creative. Um, if you've not got a ball, rolled up pair of socks works incredibly well. Um, if you've not got a racket and you're one of the older children, okay, stop there. We're just going to show you. So stage one would be without the racket, just keeping the ball up, palm of our hand, just keeping that ball up. Just one bounce, hitting under the ball. 
there's something for everybody here, regardless of equipment. Equipment should not be a barrier to participation. Okay, stage one there. Um, stage two without a racket, backhand, just hitting up. Keep it going, guys. Just want to take a moment now, um, obviously with Miss Hood being in the video, um, just a shout out to all the teaching staff, all the support staff, not just from Greyform Primary School, but also from all of our partner schools, but each school in the UK, primary, secondary, or an academy, okay, backhand there. So we're gonna go back to, we go back to a forehand, backhand, turning that racket, or turning a hand over, you're not turning the racket, not twisting the racket round. Forehand, backhand. Again, we'll show you in a minute. If you've not got the video, if you want to bet, if you've not got a racket, sorry, or if you want to make it a little bit more difficult. Just want to say thank you again for your incredible support. Going guys, forehand, backhand. Try and go for a minute on each of these. Try and go for a minute. So we're going to go forehand, backhand, forehand, backhand, forehand, back of the hand. Keep it going, guys. So this is if you've not got the racket, you can carry on with your racket if you want. Carry on with your racket, it looks like this. Forehand, backhand, forehand, backhand. Tennis, I know, incredibly popular sport, especially in school. Loved last year having a Grade Fawn Tennis Club, Grade Fawn After School Tennis Club. Um, previous years, Willow Farm, some fantastic tennis tournaments um, that have involved Sacred Heart, okay? Some great players from Sacred Heart. Um, I remember a couple of years ago with Miss Bates, Sacred Heart, we did a Wimbledon theme day, and back to forehand and backhand, and it was incredible. We got the whole school taking part in tennis. It was absolutely brilliant. Okay, and all it needs is to build, <laughs> build these basic skills up. Keep it going, guys. Well done. Eye on the ball. Just back to the racket for the last one. Um, we had schools like Richard Bonington and Parkdale um, come along and take part in the tennis tournament. Um, I believe that we had, try to think back now, Robert Mellers as well, putting a team just for mini red ball tennis. Okay, and pause it there. Right guys, um, stage four, so we go back to stage four, thinking about Miss Hood, just swapping our hands. So when the ball bounces, swap hands with the racket from the side, looks like this, keep it going. Bend those knees, leg shoulder apart is a good stance as well. Balance, very important in tennis. These racket skills, very, very important. It's what your children will be doing in their PE. Okay, especially first lesson back. So why not have a go? Parent, if you can challenge your children, see how many you can do. If you want it to make this into a skill, uh, a school games personal challenge, then all I'd advise you to do is time yourself for 30 seconds. Time yourself for a minute, register, register your score and get involved. All you need, as I say, is a tennis racket and a ball, rolled up pair of socks, okay? Make your own racket if you need to, or you just need the back of your hands. So again, if you're using four, or you just need your hands. So if you're using your hand, okay, up, keep it moving, keep the ball moving. Bit like juggling, step forwards, okay, to bring the ball back. then keep it moving. If you're using racket, swap the racket over. And you're almost now starting to play the ball over the court to yourself. Eye on the ball, very, very important. Not make too many mistakes. If you do make a mistake, don't worry, carry on. Just reset, restart. Sending the ball over the line. So that's going to be, okay, what we're going to do for the last part of our session today. So what we're going to do is we're going to set out a line. You can put anything down you want. You can put a line of markers, a couple of shoes. This is our tennis court. We have got 
We have got Andy Murray on this side and we have got Serena Williams on this side. So, Andy Murray's off you go, swap your hand, let it bounce, keep it going. Ah, oh, two bounces. So that would be, when they get the ball, that would be a point to Serena Williams. Uh, what you're trying to do, you're trying to get a rally going. So a rally wouldn't be scoring points. Okay, you're just sending the ball over the tennis net. Okay, so that would be again, because the ball bounced here a second time and Andy Murray didn't manage to return it. That would be another point to Serena Williams. Okay, so getting ourselves ready again. Andy Murray to serve, sending it over. Ah, oh, Serena Williams again. Okay, we're going to swap the ball over. See if that makes a difference. Andy Murray 3 0 down. Not having a good day, is he? So the Andy Murray side and the Serena Williams side. Andy Murray side, Serena Williams. This is mainly for. Key stage two children who can swap their hands over and Serena Williams couldn't return it. Andy Murray gets a point and it's 3 1 still to Serena Williams. So, oh, Serena Williams to serve over the net. Great return, good forehand. Andy Murray saves it, keep it moving over the tennis net. Oh, and Serena Williams cannot score the point, she cannot return. So Andy Murray gets another point. Score is now three, two, to Serena Williams. So getting it up. Guys, if you want to, okay, if you wanted to get a parent playing as well, get a parent serving the ball over the net. So here's your net and try and send it back. So the ball comes over and we just send the ball back over. Okay, so parents would be here they would be throwing the ball, okay, let it bounce, so it would bounce once, okay, children would then return the ball, so parents would throw, children would return, parents would throw, children would return, parents on this side serving, okay, children on this side, you guys are returning, so the ball basically comes over, bounce, and it's a good return, it's caught by, okay, the Andy Murrays, and the Serena Williams, okay, are returning it. So Andy Murray serves, okay. Serena Williams returns, okay. Andy Murray serves, Serena Williams returns. Keep going guys, well done, have a go. There's lots we can do here. Um, if you wanted to, okay. If you're feeling very, very ambitious, eye on the ball, maybe this time, okay. We have the Serena Williams serving with the racket and the Andy Murray's after a bounce catching. This one's probably best done in the garden. Okay, didn't quite get it over the net there. So we're going to have the Serena Williams serving and the Andy Murray's catching. Parents on this side, you're the Andy Murray's. Okay, children on this side, you are the Serena Williams's. Okay, so we're serving for the Murray's to catch. Okay, Williams to serve. Murray to catch. Children to serve. Parents to catch. Children to serve. Parents to catch. Children to serve. Parents to catch. Keep it going, guys. Some basic racket skills for you. Probably best done in the back garden. Okay, so you can pause this video, take the racket out to your back garden for this one. Set up your own tennis court. Now, if you are lucky enough to have two tennis rackets, okay, we're going to imagine that this time, okay, we have got the parents on this side, and you are going to be the Nadals, okay, and on this side, we're going to go to the Heather Watsons. So we've got Rafael Nadal's and Heather Watsons. Okay, so all that's gonna happen this time, if you've got two rackets, if not, carry on with the practice before. All that's gonna happen, you're gonna serve over parents to children. Okay, so we're gonna return, see how many we can do. If it makes a mistake, it doesn't go to the net, we just start again. So this time we're gonna have the Nadal's, the parents to serve. Watson's to return. Try and keep it within this area over the net. Keep it going. See who's going to get involved. Ah, oh, this time, unfortunately, the Watsons don't score the points. So this time we're going to have Watson serve. Oh, and if it goes wrong, unfortunately, okay, it means you get a second serve. 
Not quite. Okay, so that was a bad return from the Nadals because it was out of our court. Getting ourselves ready. Over we go. Oh, just in. And that's in. That's a point for the children. That's a point for the Watsons. Well done, everybody. Give yourselves a big clap. Okay. Guys, we wanted to do something different, okay? We've labelled our videos so you know exactly what to look for. We've had a big, big focus on athletics. We've done quite a few videos on athletics. We've also done our live school games personal best video. Um, we've done our recap. Um, we've done gymnastics. We've done football. Please get in touch and let us know what you'd like to see, what skills you'd like to develop, and what equipment you've got at home, what sports you could perform. Once again, thank you very, very much to everybody for watching. Big thank you to Miss Hood for coming in, showing us her tennis skills. Stay safe, stay at home, stay indoors, but make sure you keep active, guys. We will see you later. Thank you very much.